with the potential approval of Datroway in non-sponsored lung cancer, coinciding with ASCO 2025, how do you anticipate this shaping the treatment decisions, particularly given the setbacks and recent momentums around ADC in the lung cancer space? I think what happened with ADC is there was early incitement. Mm -hmm. We all got very excited in 2022. I think we just wanted to be incited. It was the end of the pandemic. But the data hasn't pan out. Mm -hmm. I think data is one of the last surviving, you know, like survival of the show, one of the last ones. But we have to remember that it's patient selection for data. Mm -hmm. Data was submitted to the FDA first, did it move forward? Mm -hmm. And then it was submitted for EGFR mutations, mm -hmm. in which the tropian study show better benefit. So when we talk about data, we need to talk to see it as an ADC for patients with oncogene driving lung cancer, particularly EGFR. But for me, more treatment options is better for my patients, mm -hmm. understanding these new side effects. Mm -hmm. The mouth ulcers are significant, they affect our patient's quality of life, and the hair loss is still there. But I think it's very exciting that ADC is finally moving forward besides the one that's already approved. Because I think it's a heartbreak, mm -hmm. not only for us, but all for patients when they get the data at ASCO and then poof, the phase three doesn't pay out.